so this this next section here is um, is like the previous section. So nine through twelve is basically the same stuff that we see here. Um, this is just the kind of the more advanced version. So I figured I'd grab one from here. F of x plus h of x minus g of x is a combined like terms thing. So that means we're taking these two terms, this 4x squared minus 25. I'm going to put parentheses around it to identify that as the f of x, plus h of x. Now h of x is just another binomial uh, with similar terms, 4x squared minus 10x. But the minus, keep in mind, you guys, I'm putting parentheses here. If you don't put parentheses, they won't be there. Um, and therefore, it will. you might end up missing out on, on something. And the something would be when I, as we did earlier, um, change the sign of this immediately and do the same thing, distribute it into your set of parentheses. Once you do that now, you look around, you've got um, like terms aplenty. You've got this 4x squared, another 4x squared. That's the only x squareds we see for a grand total of 8x squared. You look around in terms of x's, there's this, uh, well, these two guys here. There's this one and there's this one. Both negative because I changed the sign right there. So it's a negative 12x. And finally, you got your negative 25, your positive 5. It's a difference, so if you subtract, um, the larger one is negative, so this would be a minus 20. And then any of the other ones, for example, on 15, um, you're saying g of x times the, the, the product of that times the sum of these. So again, with g of x, if you do your 2x minus 5 and then combine these like terms, so your 4x squared minus 10x uh, plus uh, your f of x, which is 4x squared minus 25, um, you're going to combine those together first because of the parentheses. So you really have an 8x squared. Um, a minus 10x and a minus 25, um, all of that then is uh, being multiplied by g of x, which is the 2x minus 5. Now you can create a box to do this, or you can just simply go through the process of your turbo foil. The 2x gets distributed to all. 2x and 8x squared is 16x to the third. The next one is a minus. 20x squared, the last, 2 times 25 are negative, negative 50x. Then you've got your inner, your, your, your negative 5 that also gets distributed to everything. Let's do what we did earlier. Take that negative 5 and the 8x squared, that's going to be an x squared term. Let's plop it right under here. It's going to be a negative 40x squared. Um, negative 5 and negative 10 is a positive 50x, interesting. And the negative 5 and the negative 25 is a positive 125. Now just because, just because you have um, uh, four terms that are kind of lined up doesn't mean you're going to have four terms in your final answer. As we see here, the 50 and the negative 50, those just go away. Everything else should be intact, though. You've got your 16x to the third. This becomes a minus 60x squared, since there is no x term, you could write plus 0x, not, but it's not necessary. Plus 125, and, uh, and that's that.